For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Sales First Quarter 2008 from your Sample Files folder. This is a very long worksheet. To find out how long, I'm going to move to the end of the worksheet using the Control End shortcut keys. So I'll hold down Control on the keyboard and press the End key. And you can see that this worksheet has 242 rows. I'll now return to the top row by using the Control Home shortcut key. So I'll hold down Control and press the Home key. Imagine that you need to compare sales for the 3rd of February 2008 to sales for the 3rd of March 2008. This could involve a lot of scrolling, unless you split the window into two panes. So I'll now split the window into two horizontal panes. So I'll click in a cell in column A that's positioned about halfway down the screen. For a horizontal split bar, it's important that you make the active cell a cell in column A, and the horizontal split bar is going to appear above the active cell. To make the split bar appear, I click View on the ribbon, and in the Window group, notice there's a Split button. I'll click the Split button, and you can see that a horizontal bar has appeared in between rows 11 and 12. I now have two windows that can each be scrolled separately, and I can move the position of the split by hovering over the horizontal bar until I see the Move Cursor shape, and then click and drag to the position I want it to appear in. I'll leave it around the middle of the screen. Now let's return to the problem I posed earlier. I want to compare the 3rd of February 2008 with sales for the 3rd of March 2008. So I'll scroll the top pane down to the 3rd of February 2008. And I'll scroll the bottom pane down to the 3rd of March 2008. And you can see that the split bar has allowed me to compare the sales in a much easier way than if I was constantly scrolling down to March, back to February, down to March, back to February. Let's now clear the split. And as with so many things in Excel, there's three ways to do this. First I'll show you the quickest way, and that's simply to double click on the split bar. So I'll hover the mouse cursor over the split bar till I see the move cursor shape and double click. And the split bar's gone. Now let's look at splitting the window into two vertical panes. Just as when I wanted to split into horizontal panes, I had to click in column A, in order to split into two vertical panes, I must click somewhere in row 1. I'll split just to the left of country in column F. So I click in cell F1 to make it the active cell, and then click View tab on the ribbon, and in the Window group, Split. And you can see that a vertical split bar has appeared to the left of column F. And I can independently scroll each half of the window to view different columns at the same time. Now I'll remove the vertical split bar using a second technique and that is to simply drag the bar off the screen. So I'll hover over the vertical split bar until I see the move cursor shape, and then click and drag the bar off the screen. Next, I'm going to add both a horizontal and a vertical split bar at the same time. To do that, I'll make the active cell a cell towards the middle of the worksheet. The two split bars will appear one above the active cell, and one to the left of the active cell. So once again I'll click the View tab on the ribbon, and in the Window group the Split button. This time I have two split bars, and I can scroll the right-hand two windows to the left and to the right, and the left-hand two windows to the left and the right. I can also scroll the top two windows up and down, and the bottom two windows up and down. I'm now going to remove the split bars using the final technique, which is to click View on the ribbon, and in the Window group, just click the Split button 
once more, and both split bars disappear. There's no need to save this workbook, as we haven't made any changes, so I'll simply close Excel. And you've now completed Lesson 319, Split the Window into Multiple Panes.